Somebody who asks, why are we gathered here with visitors in our midst? We are here today to have a commissioning of a refurbished school block this morning. My name is Eduardo Fasari Jr. and I'm going to be your MC for this morning. Years ago, they were like you. In 1979, they came here, you came here. In 1981, they completed. So they are the 1981 year group of our honorable school. Let's give a round of applause. Thank you. Dr. Felix Nana Saki. And Kobia the Queen of Kono. <laughs> Professor Erasmus Kinetu Ogusu. <laughs> Mr. Frederick Yabua Labi. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Madame Techiwa Dapo. Madam Margaret Okreku, <laughs> Madam Comfort 
Owusu Mante. Mr. Francis Ewuku. Our guest, I'll take this opportunity once again to welcome you back to where you started from. Thank you so much. Thank you. This morning, seeing proud students of 81 year group here in our midst. Ladies and gentlemen, this day is one of the best since school resumed. Why am I saying this? Because as I move through from Form 1 or Basic 7, each time I get to Basic 8A, there's this kind of joy that fills my heart. Because the classroom alone is very conducive for teaching and learning. The two A's, are you here? Yes. Are you not proud to be in that class? Yes. The only classroom that is tied. The only classroom. Oh, 81 year group. My wonderful teachers and students, this day we are privileged to have our daddies, our brothers and sisters in our midst. They are here to officially hand over the classroom to us. Yes, it was built some years ago. But the state of that classroom had nothing to write home about. If today they are here, then be happy because more goodies are also on the way coming. A wonderful 81 year group we officially welcome you to your alma mater, a place where you started from. More often, people leave their basic schools and they focus on the SHS. So if you have people thinking about the basic school, where foundation begins, then we should give them a better club oh, of yeah, to me if they are who they are this day they owe it to PCE then the PTC demonstration school it's my prayer that you take this opportunity to be like them if not to be like them every parent will wish that the children becomes better. They started right from here. You are not in a wrong place, my dear students. This is where they started from. If we can boast of doctors, uh, artisans, all professions, they have them. A few of them join in today. Let us take this opportunity and become like them. I have missed the program that we've been having. 
Teddy, um, we have a program we normally have. It's an annual program. To be like you. Alumni talk. To be like you. And so aim higher. And the God of all grace would ensure that it comes to pass. Feel free. And then if you have questions for them, ask. They'll be in a better position to assist you. On this note, I officially welcome you again to your alma mater. Thank you. The project. We'll go back to our fathers and our mothers. They will again introduce themselves. What they do. And when they got here in 79, the house they were placed in. My name is Frederick Yabualabi. I work with the Volta River Authority. Myself and my friends, uh, brothers and sisters here, we came here in 1978, 79. So it's a 78, 79 academic year. That's when we came here. And we were the second batch of the then demonstration junior secondary school. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, I sat in the very class which had been tiled. <laughs> and I, I am an uh, HR practitioner. Thank you. Yeah. My name is Professor Erasmus Heleku Owusu. Um, I teach at the University of Ghana. I'm a conservation biologist. <laughs> and um, just like he said, throughout my educational career, this is where I got the best of teaching. Yes. This is where I got the best of teaching. And almost everything I was taught here, I still remember them. I still remember them. And I remember one day, I met one of our old teachers. I know some of, I'm sure some of you may know him, Mr. Sabute. He's with the, uh, the Methodist Church. I met him on campus and I was reciting one of his poems. He said, hey! <laughs> he was shocked. This place, I got the best. Honestly, not even the university. This is where I got my best of education. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I was also in that classroom. <laughs> and my name again is Dr. Felix Nanasaki. Um, what do I do? <laughs> Professionally, I'm a chartered accountant. And, um, because of my background, and I share with everything Prof has said, I think because we got the best of education from here, moving up, I will say, was very easy. Very easy. And if I have to, if I have to use myself as an example, I became a chartered accountant in the UK. I'm a chartered accountant in Ghana. I'm a chartered tax practitioner in the UK. And after doing all the technical things, I became the chief executive officer of Deloitte and Touche Ghana. And I was a resource for the whole of the 54 countries in Africa. So I was wow. traveling. <laughs> so when I got tired of the technical things, I decided to do my 
second master's program and a doctorate program in corporate management. Mm -hmm. So I moved out of Deloitte and I now manage my own company. And currently, I'm in charge of the Takwadi Habo expansion project. <laughs> I have used myself as an example because I know her teacher is very happy today. You could feel from the way she was talking. And I said all of these to serve as a motivation for all of you that we all started <laughs> we were all like you and never look down upon yourself sure just make up your mind that you can achieve whatever you want to achieve if you place it on your heart and i wish you well Thank you. i am Ankobia Bequen Akono. I was also in that class. Those times we did about 16 subjects. Yeah. <laughs> Including French, tree. Uh, technical drawing, leather works, tailoring. So the foundation was made here. From here, I moved to St. Paul Technical School in Kukrem to me. And all what we did here, we did the same thing over there. So we had the best of foundation in our education from here. And professionally, I am a carpenter and a drainer. What you normally call carpenter, carpenter. Mm. Not just a carpenter, but carpenter and a drainer. Drainer is the one who uses drains and other things to form uh, furniture. Then the carpentry athlete is the one who uses uh, only nails to work. <laughs> so professionally, that's my work. And I can show... I can cook. <laughs> I can produce like a shoe. <laughs> yeah, and everything all from me. Yeah. Yeah. We did all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You learn hard. Hard and start, but it's to feel. And self employed living in the Kofo. I was in the opposite I was in the opposite B? class. B. 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 Hello. Hi. Yes, my mother died. Yeah. I'm also Mrs. Comfort. A self employed. I'm also at the A class. Wow. Uh. And you see, you see uh, our Chairman, it's at a B class. <laughs> so it seems we have to do something about this. So that the B class is also the B class. Yeah. One thing I have to, I want to discuss with you is discipline. This school, apart from learning, discipline. At that time, when you reach here, Early in the morning, mentor straight away. Mentor straight away. What is technical drawing? You have to say something. <laughs> technical drawing is defined as the construction <laughs> of robotical <laughs> <lines. laughs> Right now, what is technical drawing? Can you tell me? No, you can't. <laughs> I know. But, you see, it helps us a lot. As for the discipline, we wish you the best. 
Hello, hello. My name is Techiwa Daku, also known as T Class. I was in B. I'm into hospitality. I manage a hotel and I'm a seasoned caterer. I do everything edible. <laughs> One thing which I haven't forgotten. When he mentioned what is We were talking in class one day. <laughs> then Mr. Osabute came around. He said you are going to write these lines fifty times. Listen to me. Because we had to write it for fifty times up till now, it is here. <laughs> it goes like this. Even in the lowest animal kingdom, mm -hmm. where stupidity and vulgarity are considered to be the most enviable quantity, <laughs> some amount of other is maintained. <laughs> <laughs> there is therefore no reason why I. A student of PTC demonstration junior secondary school should behave in a way that will bring me down to the class of untrained people. Wow. <laughs> you are writing lines for 50 times. Wow. And if you are not able to write it, Yes. These days you are lucky. <laughs> so I'm the president of the year group. So they want me to give you a short speech. And um, what I'll do is a head teacher. Esteemed teachers, students, fellow alumni. Distinguished guests, all here gathered. This project, our year group termed it the, the, the Nehemiah Nehemiah project. project. Wow. So before I continue with my speech, let me read Nehemiah 2, 17 and 18, so that we can move on. And I'm reading from the Bible. Then I said to them, you see the trouble we are in. Jerusalem lies in ruins, and its gates have been burned with fire. Come, let us rebuild the wall of Jer Jerusalem, and we will no longer be in disgrace. I also told them about the gracious hand of my God on me, and what the king said had said to me. They replied, let us rebuild. So they began this good work. So that is how come we term the project the Nehemiah project. We are rebuilding. <laughs> it is an honor to stand before you today as we gather to celebrate a significant milestone, the inauguration of this project. It is a project that has been close to the hearts of many of us who once walked the halls of this school. Today is a testament to the power of community and the strength of our collective efforts. This initiative began when the school reached out to its alumni for help. Recognizing the need to improve the facilities to accommodate the growing number of students and provide them with a better learning environment. Yeah. When the request came, we as alumni felt a deep sense of responsibility. Many of us stood where the current students are sitting. 
The school played a vital role in shaping us, providing us with the tools and values that have guided us through life. It was only right that we, in turn, give back to the institution that made us who we are today. I will not bore you with a long speech because everything we have said here today was part of my speech. I'm sure you've heard about all the motivational part of our speech. So um, I will leave it here and then we can progress with the program. And then when we finish in the next working session, we can give you more of it. Thank you very much. Have a great Father, we are grateful to you for a moment like this. We thank you for such a wonderful day. The 20th day of the month of September. you have made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We are grateful for such a wonderful day. Today your children will gathered here to open this facility to your glory. Indeed, we couldn't have had it better and we are grateful to you. So as we gather to open this, we say in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, that whatever we have started, shall continue to yield better results for your expansion for your name to be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 So we open this in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I open this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Unfortunately, there are so many things happening in Accra that we have to rush to go and sort them out. I would like to say a big thank you to the management of the school. I remember the last time we were invited to a program. I think it was the speech and prize giving day. And then Nana couldn't come, so I had to come and stand in for him. And I remember on the park, when people were making donations, we told you that we were not ready, and that we would come at the appropriate time. And then we came, and we came big. <laughs> <laughs> so we've gone to look at the facility, we have opened it, and based on our observation, and some pushing, <laughs> we have decided that we will take the next classroom, wow. and we have to go. So that is going to be our next project. That's going to be our next project. However, what we are pleading is maintenance. Because most projects in Ghana, we start very beautiful, but the next six months is gone. I remember telling you that the I think you had some canteen there. And I remember the day I came, I was so sad because I contributed to build that canteen. And I came and it was like, <laughs> I mean, it was nothing to write home about. So please, you are pleading. Let's make sure that the classrooms are well maintained. And the, th the students, most of the time, you are the ones destroying things. <laughs> Writing on the walls. So that I wonder what the motivation is to write on the wall. I will see it. I will see it some and all kinds of things. So please, as much as possible, we don't want you to be writing on the walls. Let's keep the place very clean so that your colleagues also come and enjoy the facility. So, Madam Headmistress, on behalf of my colleagues, we want to assure you that the next classroom will be done. And this time around, we are going to do it very fast. Very, very fast. You only have to give us the timetable when the place will be free and all that. And then our liaison man will be there. So thank you very much for this morning. I want to give the Almighty a big thanks for the opportunity to be here. Making sure the atmosphere is okay for us. No rains. And we are grateful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Menso, <laughs> Nineteen eighty one, Eddie Kanfoma. We didn't fatama, a fatamu akono. When I'm winning so into money I awful. Yet damasi and yadu, yet damasi o bro. A good doctor, Eddie Kanfoma. In Chima Bekayo Modani
is one old student. Some hard working staff, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. We gain this a great privilege to be allowed to give this vote of time on this August occasion. As we gather here today, I would like to take a moment to express our heartfelt gratitude to our esteemed old students. Your general support in the renovation of our classrooms has made a profound impact on our school community. This project will always remind us of the strong bond we share with our alumni. Thank you for your kindness. May you graduate. Yay. Yes, indeed, in your presence we are content. In your presence there is light, and in your presence there is the expression of your love. And that love is what we are experiencing today. Father, we thank you once again for the life of the 1981 year back, who, because they have the school at heart, have done this kind gesture. We pray that you continue to bless them with good health. You continue to bless the works of their hands so that they will continue to remember this school. We thank you for what you have done today and we thank you for what you, have be, you will be doing for us in the days and years to come. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen.